Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and this one's going to be quite an exciting yet short video regarding uh, how you can make even more out of your Manon stronghold. So a little bit of a tutorial about how you can actually go swimming in the water itself. If you jump over here at the edge and you kind of just jump over the edge, get your log out button ready. So just press escape on your keyboard and right as you hit the water, just log out. And what will actually end up happening is when you log back in, you will indeed be underwater. So you can actually go swimming, check out some of the stuff, glitch out the game a little bit. There are actually some really cool Easter eggs there that I'll be showing, or at least you guys saw at the start of this video, and I'll be talking a little bit more about it later. Um, but unfortunately, there's no like swimming animation or anything, so it's kind of weird. But if you wanted to make it a little bit more story-friendly and not be so weird, uh, just get on a really cool mount. Like There's actually a Manon submarine mount that is available from the depth, depths of Manon Flashpoint. And so that would obviously work very well for something like this, because you could pretend like you actually just jump in your submarine. Uh, I'll be using my command throne here just because I don't have that mount. But another mount that would work really well is something like the Vectron, Vertic uh, no, the Vectron Enforcer and stuff, because those mounts all look like actual submarines. But going on here, if you go into your mount, you can actually just go and explore down here. And as you guys can see here, this is what I showed you at the start of this video. If you just keep going straight, you will actually fall down all the way down to sea level. And as you guys can see in the distance there, we have uh, the underwater observatory. And directly ahead of us, we have this really cool uh, sea creature. And so um, actually now I made a statement in the Manon Stronghold tour that I uploaded as well. I talked about how they didn't put in any cool Easter eggs. Well, they did actually do it. I just never caught it. So that's my bad there. But it's also very obscure. It's not that uh, it's hard to kind of see it from those windows because they're really narrow and short. But if you do this little glitch here, you can see it now directly up front. If you are unaware of what that is, that's actually a Firaxian shark, and that's a uh, Easter egg from Kotar, so the original games. Uh, the Firaxian shark is a sea creature that is native to Manon. That's actually what that one server, the progenitor, is uh, based off of because this um, creature is part of like the Selkath's uh, ancient mysticism. Uh, it's supposed to be the common ancestor of Selkath's and other fraction sharks. It was actually a creature that you interacted with with Kotar. As Revan, you could choose to like poison it and stuff. So it definitely has a lot of lore associated with it. If you are interested in that kind of stuff, definitely go and um, search it up on... Um, Definitely go search it up on Wikipedia and stuff and read up about it. It's actually quite cool. Um, I totally forgot about that. It is a really cool Kotar Easter egg and you can go and get an upfront look at it just by using that glitch. But there are other pathways you can take. So aside from just going straight, you can obviously go down the sides here and you won't fall down quite yet. And you can actually enter the complex itself, which is what I'll do in a little bit. Um, Going back to the Fraction Shark though, I did want to quickly mention you can indeed see those from the underwater observatory window. So it's a really cool easter egg that you don't have to use this glitch for. If you just wait at the window long enough, you'll see its shadow come by. Uh, it definitely does resemble that shape and everything. And so um, if you don't want to Aldo fall down, you want to kind of experiment with some other stuff. If you go all the way to the end as I did here and you just keep going straight. So this is now going away from the back of the Manon stronghold. You'll actually enter some really cool sort of limbo. You can actually keep going straight for quite a while. Uh, you won't fall down quite yet. I think it will auto kill you once you go far enough. But if we just keep going straight here, we'll see that... Um, there is like a platform here that uh, keeps carrying us for a little bit of a while. So it'll be kind of cool, I don't know, maybe do some videos here or something like that. Probably I'll be messing around with the Manon Stronghold in future videos for quite a while. But um, yeah, it'll auto kill you and, and respawn you back at the start. So here we go again and we'll go the other way this time. And um, I think what would be really cool is if you actually induce some lag. Uh, so. I actually tried to do it, I tried to upload videos and stuff, try to get leg going because I've done it on the fleet quite a lot and if you uh, get some really hardcore leg going on in your game, it will actually delay the death so you could maybe even explore the ground a little bit before dying. Uh, but unfortunately I wasn't able to get leg going so I guess that's one case where high speed internet kind of um, limited what you were able to do but anyways. Uh, if you go down here, you can enter this little hole in the wall and once again get access to this center complex. You can put in decorations and stuff, but there's really nothing else to do here. It's kind of a little bit boring. Um, one thing I would be interested in seeing though is if you can actually see the character. That would be kind of cool. So if someone from the upper platform would look down and see it, you know, if someone's exploring down there. I'm not sure how that would work. Unfortunately, I, you know, I don't have two cameras or anything, so I can't test that out myself. But if you keep going long enough, you'll eventually fall down. 
The problem is you can still see Mr. Friendly over there, but it will auto kill you so you won't quite reach the ground floor. If you want to reach that ground floor that I showed at the start of this video, just keep going straight. So once you use the glitch, you jump off the edge, you log out really quickly, then you log back in. If you just keep going straight, that's how you can get access to the ground sea floor there. And if you actually put a decoration down uh, on the outside sea floor, like you're able to use those centerpieces, then um, you can even see that decoration. So a really cool Easter egg and some probably some really cool exploring you can do. I did some very limited exploring. So if you guys you know found out anything really cool, be sure to leave it in the comment section. Maybe even screenshot it and tweet it to me or something like that. But um, yeah, I'd be really interested to see what you guys find out about this. In any case, I thought I would go and test this on Manon itself. I thought maybe this isn't just unique to the Manon stronghold. So I did indeed go and check to see if we can do something cool on Manon. This is just a normal planet, but unfortunately it just enters you into a free fall and you auto die. So there's nothing too cool here. Uh, it is unique to only the Manon stronghold. Anyways, I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just a really short one here with some really cool stuff. And um, I'm happy Bioware did indeed put that Easter egg there. I was kind of lamenting about how, you know, why wouldn't you do some sort of Easter egg? It's really cool. And they did actually do it, so my bad there. But once again, it's really obscure and small. You can't really see it that well from the window. That's kind of, I guess, another criticism of the Manon Stronghold. I thought they would maybe do it where it was really big and open. You could actually see a lot of the outside. I don't like the fact that it's so confined. It's actually quite hard to look out of the windows and see the decorations you place there and stuff. But anyways, a criticism for another day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.